Welcome to OMG Old Man Golf, coming to you from Falkenstein in Hamburg, Germany. At the beautiful Hamburg Country Club in Hamburg, Germany. Actually have a nice day today, which is going to be very, very nice. Um, let's see if I can get this course. Thanks, gangsters. Thank you, Janice. The first hole is a 322-yard par 4. You tee from an elevated tee and it goes down and then you play up to the green. Dog legs left a little bit. You want to kind of hit it in the middle with maybe a little bit of draw on it. And I left that one out right. I lay it up in front of the green. So the best I can do is iron. try to hit an 8-iron out of this thick rough in front of the green. I hit it across the fairway and I've got a gap wedge, an OMG gap wedge for 50 yards. All right, that's up on the green. We're a long ways away. Got a bogey putt. Hey, I made a putt! The second hole is a 539 yard par 5. Number one handicap. Tough hole. All right, tree lines, you just gotta put it in the middle of the fairway, Trey. Put it in the fairway. All right, I gotta just get it back out in the fairway. I'm gonna punch a six iron. Yeah, that's not the fairway. But this course has so much pitch and roll to it. You can't, you can't really see it on video, but it is I'm up in the and fairway. down all over the place. All right, I'm LAW, I'm gonna hit four hybrid. All right, just get it around the turn. Get it around the corner. Looks like I did. All right, I got 190. For the first time on this trip, I think I'm going to hit the H wood. Yeah, this is a, a risky shot. 190 yards with the H wood. Push it way across yards the fairway. Left, so I'm going to hit 7 iron punch. 7 iron OMG punch. On the green. See if I can roll one in. That'd be a good one to roll in. Look how nice this green is and those sand traps. This 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 course is immaculate. There's a reason why it's voted the number one in Germany. Double bogey. Not exactly how I wanted to start. The third hole is a 216 yard par three, playing back up a hill. Tough hole. I've got uh, Heavenwood. I ain't that good. All right, got a little eight iron chip. Look at that sand trap. It's perfect. All right, got a par putt. Oh, that's a bogey. I almost had the up and down. The fourth hole is a 475 yard par five. Dog legs right. There's some natural areas and some sand bunkers. You really just hit it into the fairway. Nothing wrong with the fairway. There we go. Look at that, the fairway. Hitting four hybrid. Have a birdie feather planted. Let's see if it works. I'm still in good shape. Got a gap wedge from 100 yards. I thinned it a little bit. On the back of the green, I have a birdie putt. It's a long birdie putt, but let's see if that feather worked. Well, not this time. But I got a little par putt here, and uh, I'll take pars as I can get them. The next best thing to a birdie. The fifth hole is a 393 yard par four. It plays up and then it plays down as it bends hard right. Very well designed hole. I got a little tree sheet for you to drive out of here. My ball is not far enough to go around the curve, so I'm going to hit a six iron to get myself in a spot where I can see the green. All right, got eight iron, 130 out. Look how nice these fairways are. It's amazing, isn't it? 
I got a par putt, a long par putt, but a par putt. Oh, get in that hole. Nope. All right. It's a bogey. That's the next best thing to a par. The six hole is a 413 yard par four. It plays uphill and then it plays downhill. Got a little driving sheet to hit your tee shot. Run nicely in the fairway. Gonna hit four hybrid. I hit that pretty good. Now I got 112 hitting pitch and wedge up the hill. Oh, the three putt music. guys in front of me and I told them I'd put them on YouTube so here you go the seventh hole is 356 yard par 4 tight uh, driving zone nice hole it opens up after you get past those trees so I now have a uh, six iron from 145 and I caught it fat so now I've got a lob wedge. I hit this well. And Murphy's Law kicks in and the battery on the uh, GoPro dies. And I make my putt, my, maybe my only one putt on the trip, and uh, no camera. Murphy's Law. The eighth hole is a 178-yard par three with some natural areas if you're short, and they're nasty. So I got Heavenwood. I hit that okay, and I hit it into this sand trap, but this sand trap is gorgeous. Look how nice this is. I haven't seen sand traps like this since COVID. All right, I missed the green, but that's okay. I'd almost rather have an 8-iron chip than a putt from 50 feet. All right, bogey putt. And I make it. The ninth hole is a 414-yard Par four, number three handicap. Like all the holes, you start with a, a shoot that you have to hit your tee shot through. Let's get in the fairway. Got a little reachy there. Got three hybrid. I'm in the fairway. I have nothing to complain about. That'll work. All right, I got 60 yards. I'm going to aim at that tree right of the flag and see if my pitch and wedge punch will release to the flag. Lessons learned on the front nine is that those greens are fast. I finished up with the three putt. I need some more batteries. I need to check my batteries more often when they're getting low. On the stat side, I was 0 for 1 out of the sand, but 6 for 6 for the sweet spot. Three chips and 18 putts. It was my long game with 25 strokes. Started off a little bit shaky, but uh, let's go play the back nine. Don't miss it. It'll be on OMG Old Man Golf real soon. Subscribe so you don't miss it.